I'm like, I want to go on a trip sometime soon. Like, I, I need to get out of America.
when I'm bent boys that rock the top and just cruise. We brush the deck down to the shoes. My only mom. Wait, I know this is not an album reaction. This might be my new bop. This might be my new bop. Wait a minute. It is currently Wednesday, February 1st, and my room is still, y'all can't even see that. My room is still a hot mess. I told myself I'll have everything done by today, but obviously that, that is not the case. Um, some things came up and it set me back. What haven't I done yet? I haven't washed my hair, <laughs> I haven't put my clothes up, and I haven't, um, went through these boxes so i have to do all three of that before i go to work tomorrow night so tomorrow i'm definitely washing my hair and getting it done but tonight i want to just get some stuff done so i don't have to like wake up and run around and do it tomorrow so i can just focus solely on my hair tomorrow is definitely a hair day like i've been pushing my hair back for like two weeks now so i need to get my hair done seriously tomorrow doing i, I want to do like a wardrobe audit kind of video like redoing my wardrobe and you know buying new clothes it just gives me an excuse to buy clothes so here is all my clothes now you're probably wondering Bill, why are your clothes in a suitcase two big old bags and a um what is this and a hamper the reason why my clothes are like all like backed up is because <laughs> couple months ago like i kind of went through a little slight panic attack and decided to like i decided i wanted to leave but i actually didn't do it because i was like where was i gonna go first off like where was i gonna go yeah i had like a little panic attack and i packed up all my stuff and i was like i'm gonna go but anyways yeah my stuff has been like sitting in these bags and stuff been over a month two months and you're just gonna watch me fold my clothes. Like, it's not what people do now. They just watch other people do mundane tasks so they can avoid to do theirs. I wish I had, like, some questions or something. I should have, like, did a, a question thingy. I, I've been getting a lot of questions from my friends and stuff. Like, oh, uh, how's Detroit going? How's it? How's um living in a new state going for you? And, you know, it's, it's good. If you don't know, like, I moved to Detroit about about eight months ago yeah so far it's been cool definitely it has definitely been like a culture shock for me and i've been i would say i want to say resentful that's kind of like harsh like that's a harsh way to put it i wasn't me myself my mind i wasn't accepted of the fact that like hey i live here now so I, it was a lot of like a whole battle back and forth between me between my family it was a lot of adjusting i had to do and it was really, really hard. It was really hard to adjust and get used to this new way of living. But that's that's anywhere. Whether you start a new school, start a new job, like it, it's hard. It's hard to adjust. It's hard to adjust to not consciously realize you're somewhere you're not. That does not make any sense. What am I talking about? Like seriously, why do I even speak? You know, it caused some problems. It caused rifts, obviously. Like I am a 18 year old who is just getting exposed to adulthood. And now all of a sudden I moved to a completely different state. Don't know nobody outside of my family. I don't know anybody. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know the land. I don't know the people. You know, I don't know how the people move. I'm in snow. It's cold here half the goddamn time. Like. I would say for now, like, I'm good. Like, I'm really cool. I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm cooling. You know, I'm taking it. I'm taking everything for what it is. And I'm just, like, really just trying to, you know, take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way. I'm figuring my way. I'm figuring my way. This is, this is, I feel like this is my coming of age era. Like, I'm really, like, I'm really finding myself and finding my true self. Because for a very, 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 very long time, I've been living my life like on other people's words or other people's thoughts. So this is finally like the first time like I'm able to like, 
I'm able to like live outside of like what other people thought of me, if that makes sense. Like, um, what else other people would ask me? Uh, some people would ask me like, why I've been so inconsistent on YouTube. I think I'm a, I think I touch bases on this in my uh, day in the life of a wannabe influencer video. But I'm gonna just give you a little synopsis and then y'all can just go watch that video if it's already up. To be honest, like part of it was because I was going through so much. Like another, ha another part of it has to do with like, I was just lazy. Like I really just was not checking for social media. I don't know, I just really felt like the climate of social media like really just changed. And it's it's so bad now, like I don't know, like everyone thinks they're a social media influencer, everyone thinks they got influence because they got a couple followers, everyone thinks they should get paid for their content and, and for the shit they're making. Don't get me wrong, I believe like people should get compensated for the content that they make on their platforms. But it's also one thing to like say that and then it's also another thing to say that and you're not producing adequate content on a consistent basis you know like and you're throwing money into it like it should just it, it, it should just make everything cool like no if you're not giving if you're not giving like literally the basics of good content then you should not be over here like expecting to get paid after you made one YouTube video or made one TikTok. Like, come on now, be for real with yourself. Be like, be fucking for real. Be F F R. The the climate of social media really changed, and I don't know. I was just trying to figure out like how should I navigate that and like what should I do because I wanted to really kind of stop doing the reactions because I felt like the reactions weren't like me, you know. And and my content has always been based around me don't get me wrong i'm grateful for those view those videos popping off like they did i just feel like i should move on to something else and maybe in the future i might do it in like a different way talk about music or talk about pop culture in a different way where it's not necessarily like yes bitch oh my god you see that outfit she got on oh my god the wig is giving like it's, it's not that but it's more so insightful and you can actually learn from it. I keep bouncing off that topic. The climate of social media. I I feel like TikTok has won a lot. Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I like it. I like TikTok. It's cool sometimes. Like, it's like some TikToks be funny as fuck. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, TikTok be funny as fuck. But it's just, it's just, I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say it's TikTok's fault. But I feel like it's the people on TikTok that just really be just getting on my nerves. Like, it's just, it's people who go out their way to just, like, leave nasty and disgusting comments. And, like, it, and it's just like, oh, my God, do y'all not got nothing else better to do with your lives? Like, and, and it don't be kids. That's the crazy part. It don't be kids. The kids on TikTok be even, like, be better than, than the freaking adults. It be these damn grown-ass people leaving these nasty-ass comments under these freaking people's posts. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, what the hell? Suitcase done. Oh my god, I want to go on a trip sometime soon. Like, I, I need to get out of America. I don't know. Or I just need to get, I just need to get on somewhere. Get on a plane. I don't care where it is. Like, I just need to get on a plane. Like, I'm so tired of being at the house. Valentine's Day is coming up. We single as a Pringle still. People be asking me, like, oh my god, how's dating? How's your dating life? Like, what's that? Like, girl, nothing is up over here. Nothing is up. Nothing is happening and nobody's coming around. I get in like moments where like I just, I don't give a fuck about like people and like wanting to date. Like I don't care about that. And then like there's some moments where I'm like, let me see what you're talking about. And then we get to talking and it's just like, you wasted my freaking time. You wasted my damn time. Dating for me is just it's so ghetto. The dating scene is so fucking ghetto. Like I just, I don't know what it is. Everybody want a relationship, but they don't want to do the, the, the relationship shit, including me. Like I don't want to be doing that shit. Like, oh my God, that shit is so tiring. Like I can barely like deal with myself. Like what makes you think I want to deal with a whole totally different human being who got emotions and problems too like i got emotions and problems too and i need to deal with mine like i can't deal with you right now i can't i can't and i don't want to be around that like i don't know i'm the type that likes to be alone like i like to be alone like i don't like under somebody's fucking armpit all the fucking time like you know what i'm saying like i, I don't like that shit i don't know i don't know was i not loved enough as a child i don't know <laughs> 
I just, mm, 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 mm. And then, like, the shit, like, these niggas be trying to make me do. Like, ugh. It's so disgusting. Like, niggas ain't shit. Like, you niggas is not shit. Okay? Y'all are disgusting. And I'm over it. I'm so over it. Oh, my God. I remember this one time. I was talking to this dude. And, like, we, we was talking for, like, a minute. We were talking for a minute. And then it just went sour real quick, real fast. Because we were on FaceTime one night. And I'll never forget this. Like, this shit, this shit really, like, fucked me up. Oh, my God. I really, really liked this dude. I really, really liked him. I really, 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 really liked him. We were on the phone one night, and I was like, oh, how come, like, you never made a move or, like, never made, like, you never put a status on this? Like, what's up? Like, what's up? Like, I like you, and I know you like me. So, like, what's up? Oh, you know, the reason why I didn't, say anything or I, I didn't like make this a thing was because you're not somebody I really like wanna wanna date like that like I, I don't want to be seen with that's what he said that's what he said he was like oh you're not somebody I want to be seen with and I was like huh and I was like okay what you mean by that like you you wanna and I said sarcastically I was like oh I, I, I bet you want to be seen by like one of those typical Atlanta gays tell me why this motherfucker agreed with me and I was just like, oh, wow, wow. And he was like, oh, no, 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 don't get offended, don't get offended, da, da, da. Wow. The nigga was too stunned to speak. I was like, oh, my God. And he, he just kept going down the line and explaining. And I was like, what do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, like, I want to date somebody that's, like, when we walk into a room together, like, all eyes, all heads turn to us. And I was like, what you mean? Like, I'm not a head turner? And he was like, no, you not like, you don't got that look. And I was like, huh? What the hell? What do you mean? And I don't know. Like, after that, like, I just really kind of like went, I don't know, kind of did with like with dating and shit. Because I'm just like, that was the most self-centered, like, narcissistic bullshit a person could ever say. What do you mean? You don't want to date me because I'm somebody you don't want to be seen with. That's disgusting. Do you know how disgusting that is on so many levels? I was like, wow. And I was, and after that, I just literally completely ghosted him. And like, I blocked him on everything. Because I was just like, oh my God, that is such a disgusting thing to say. I'm so glad I'm past that. I'm so over that dating shit. Like... Either niggas want to like trade and send news or want you to send news and shit. And I'm, I'm not about that. Like, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm just not looking for nobody. I'm not looking for no person, nobody. Just, I'm just looking, where is my money? You know, like, where is my check? Where, who, when am I going to cash in another check? I'm looking for opportunities. I'm looking for projects. That's what I'm looking for. That's where my mind is. You know, I'm not looking for men. And I hope, certainly hope men aren't looking for me. Okay? I just, the, what? Me? Ugh. Oh my God. Did y'all hear? Jeffree Star is back with his shenanigans. Oh my God. I want to, I want to um, do a video on this. Like, I really want to do a video on this. Because I just think it's so fascinating. Like, the way Jeffree Star falls off and then comes back. Out of nowhere, like, from the depths of hell, he just comes back. And I'm just like, oh my God. But you know, I low key, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be one of them. Like I low key live with Jeffrey Star. Like I do. I, I live for his shenanigans a little bit. Like I I'm sorry. Like the beauty community was getting a little boring. Like it was. Like I was just so I was getting bored, and I wasn't really tuning in like I used to to the beauty community because mainly it moved over to TikTok. So like I really and I, and I don't be in tune with TikTok a lot. Like I go on TikTok, I scroll, I post something, and I get off. I really feel like Jeffree Star, he, he brought some, he brought the mess back. He brought the mess that was needed back. The beauty community was getting boring. Like, it really was. You know, I was just tuning into my lifestyle girls, my vlogger girls, and my fashion girls for the most part. But he's bringing all eyes back on the, on the beauty community. He came back after, well, he, he, he was always on TikTok, like, and posting and stuff. But he wasn't, like, being messy. Now, girl, he, he back on his mess, and I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Now everybody's, like, dragging um, Kayla for her her lies, and like, they're trying to cancel her. 
or whatever and I'm just like okay <sighs> okay is she wrong for wearing false lashes in a mascara review where the mascara was supposed to make her real lashes look big yes but why are we choosing Jeffree Star <laughs> The one who, one, the one person who is notorious for lying, not only, not only lying, making racist remarks. Y'all chose Jeffree Star to, 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 to be Noah's Ark. But I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's different. Like, TikTok drama is so different than like YouTube drama. I feel like YouTube drama, like, you was in, you was in on it with YouTube drama, like, like you, you was in on you was watching all the um, the the drama channels. You was watching response videos. You was watching allegation video. You was watching all the videos, getting all the tea, and coming up with your conclusion. You was watching all the Snapchat stories, all the Instagram stories. You was watching every single piece of video of content out there about the drama. It was just mess. It was mess. I lived for it. I was watching the vlogs to see who was with who, who was hanging out with who, especially on those brand trips. Oh my God. Recently, Tart flew to, um, flew some TikTok girlies out to uh, Dubai, all expense paid trip, and that threw everybody in a frenzy on TikTok. Y'all just be mad for nothing on TikTok. I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I'm surprised so many people didn't know what a brand trip was. I've been knowing what a brand trip was since 2016. Like, I wanted to go on a brand trip, shoot. And everybody was so mad. Like, oh, why did these girls get to go to go on a tart trap? And why can't I, or why can't this YouTuber? And I'm just like, y'all. It's not that deep. Okay, that concludes all my clothes. Now I just gotta put them up. I'm, I'm gonna get a clothing rack and I'm gonna like start putting some outfits together. Cause I need to make use of these clothes. Like for real. I need to make use of these clothes. Like seriously, this is ridiculous. Why do I have all these clothes and I wear the same things like over and over? And on this, we'll talk soon. Man's getting cold feet. Terry's worried they're gonna pull out of the deal. Apparently they're talking to Bradburn Energy. Bradburn? Are they gonna smell potatoes? Yeah, they sure as shit are. It doesn't make any sense. But no one in the middle talks to face.